when you be want to be to achieve and to want to be maybe world number one for next uh, few years for sure you uh, you're going to have uh, people that they don't like you um, inside the court the emotions after i win after that it's for me i try to be more like uh, physically strong and to be able to to stand by the the stop guys and because this is the problem i was having in okay like uh, the dreams never stop Yeah, for sure. Uh, definitely, it was a really strange, strange uh, year uh, for us all. Uh, when you think about it, yeah, I played in January, I played in February, I played in March, and then everything was stopped. So um, it was really tough for us all. And um, actually, I was having a, a lot of achievements to prove and uh, a lot of goals, uh, f- but uh, to only stop in March and then return back in in uh, pyramids and for the first tournament. It was really tough mentally for me, uh, not playing a lot. Of, like I was playing every week a tournament, uh, juniors uh, or uh, as a senior PSA professional side. But my physicality wasn't that good there. Uh, so I worked on from January, maybe from like in in the COVID when we, in the lockdown we. With, I tried to be more like uh, physically strong and to be able to to stand by the the stop guys and because this is the problem I was having in uh, in those areas you know so in those period of times to continue with the same pace with these guys because as a junior uh, as a junior you know uh, tournaments when you play with against the junior not the pace of the of the of these guys of the top twenty guys top twenty level. So uh, it was difficult for me to change my game from a junior level to a senior level. It, it was really tough, tough for me and tough to mix it up when you also play the both seasons. Like I was playing uh, 14 tournaments here as a as a junior and uh, 12 here or 14 as a professional side. So it was really tough. And uh, then, uh, like I, when I turned 18, I just turned 18, I stopped junior at all. Uh, play few few tournaments and then didn't go to the bridge open and started to focus all the way to for a professional side and uh, started my physicality to like I focused on it in the lockdown uh, maybe two sessions uh, fitness three sessions fitness in one day so uh, trying to be stronger trying to be fitter uh, because as you see like Paul Core or someone like John Meek and they're both they are getting every single thing inside the court so worked on a lot of things uh, beside my squash uh, but I'm thinking that now is the most important thing that it's your body and uh, now it's not like um, with the talent or uh, if you have a talent it's it's, uh, it's really nice but to have a talent and to have um, also your mentality is good and to have like a f- strong strong physicality you uh, you will be uh, you'll be uh, through and uh, that. Assault. played it was well, brilliant yeah it's played it. it's brilliant absolutely brilliant the big bear hug it's a superb match it's a superb match it really was an absolute brilliantly contested match there he goes giving him a hug big respect for Mustafa Assal it's nice to see from the big youngster from Cairo an absolutely superb match a little bit when I beat uh, Abul Goritz, it was something like I make an upset and uh, it was really, really good for me and I was playing my best squash and um, wasn't really want to play with Greg. Uh, I want to play with him as like, a, as in a normal situation, you know, like, but I don't want to play with him uh, because of his good year, you know, and he's one that uh, I'm, when I went like for 2015 and I was going for a trip with my uh, my friends. I entered with him a court and uh, it was uh, like every day I was practicing with him and uh, it was also uh, give me a lot of tips and uh, for my body and for my physicality and uh, someone that I'm thankful for him uh, what he uh, said for me and also said uh, a lot of tips for my dad and we w- worked on and uh, and also sent me uh, uh, his nutrition plan and a lot of things so uh, really thankful to him and um, so so yes, to play against Greg, I, I was hoping to Mossad to win this time because to to play against uh, Mossad not good here because I know the 
feeling or about it and the atmosphere will be uh, it's it's good it's good yeah and uh, in the history I played with Guti but it's, it's in the feeling it was not that good but uh, grateful for sure to play against him and to put uh, um, a, CV, a CV for myself to, that I played with Guti one time yeah. Another tremendous rally. I mean, we've seen much better squash in this fifth game. It's been the best game by far in the match as well. Oh, shit. Dies, oh, it? Oh, 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 I'm not sure. Oh, where are we? Are we? I don't know if we're at the European Championship here or a squash match. Can't describe when I win this match for sure. A lot of uh, emotions to get into it. Uh, to beat someone like Paul, it's different at all. He's really, really consistent. Uh, maybe sometimes in the top four guys, they they can lose maybe round two or something like that. Or maybe from the first match, maybe like sometimes. But Paul was really, really consistent. And I know that I knew that this match is really, really hard and. Uh, uh, for uh, for a physical side, and I knew that he was gonna take it to a physical side. And when I um, I saw other players playing with him, um, there is a fault, a lot of like uh, uh, mistakes they do. Like uh, try to realize it and try to 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 see with my coaches what I will do. So I was prepared well to this match and. Uh, to perform inside of my country and inside of my home crowd, you know, in front of the pyramids. Uh, I was really tension on this match and um, I don't know why. I'm playing uh, number four seed and someone is incredible, someone is uh, better than me in the rankings and for sure in the, in the, in the view of in the of the other, of anyone, he, he's gonna beat me, you know, in, in, on the paper. But uh, when you need to prove something, you have a lot of pressure. So um, uh, it was really tension this match, and uh, wasn't playing my my squash. Well, I wasn't playing my 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 squash that uh, that I knew in in the training or something. Like that but uh, I was going it for physical. Okay, we're going to a physical. We we go to a physical side and a tough game, a mental game. But didn't play my my squash that I knew like the. Uh, maybe the Knicks and uh, a lot of things know that it was a long match, so uh, maybe we was going for all the back of the court, so a lot of interference was in, inside this court, in, inside this match. And uh, but I, I learned only one thing: to be calm, and after the match, do what I want to do. Uh, so uh, um, and that's what my coaches said to me, and also my father said to me, like to be calm and to enjoy it. Uh, that's the way that I uh, will go through, but uh, like thinking about what people say is doesn't care to me at all. But uh, um, because thinking about like uh, seeing maybe the social media or saying this interrupt your squash, interrupt your uh, interrupt. Uh, like uh, even if uh, if they are saying good for you and they're saying bad, yeah, you have your own way, you have your own character, so uh, that will never change. So uh, and um, it changed in the in the bad things. So if I'm having a bad things, my coaches say to me or my father say to me that no, you have to change this. So if they said to me this, I'm gonna change. But uh, like anyone else, uh, I'm uh, like I'm not uh, taking from him uh, advice. I will not. Like, I will not care. So um, when you be want to be to achieve and to want to be maybe world number one for next uh, few years. For sure, you uh, you're gonna have uh, people that they don't like you, and people will like you the most. People, uh, but uh, if there is no one, uh, if there is no haters, you will not go, and you will not uh, prove, and you will not uh, uh, move into it, and you will not be no world number one. If you uh, you have a lot of likes and all the people likes you, you will not be, uh, like uh, <laughs> all the people like uh, Salah have. Uh, like uh, some of the the fans say, they, they, he cannot even play a football. He is uh, it's not great, and there is a lot of flex. But he is proving, and he is like the the best scorer for Liverpool right now. So um, for a comparison, I'm I'm 
I'm not thinking of what the people say. I am thinking about myself and I have a lot of thinking in my head what it goes and like that. Also for sure, uh, I, I love to, to, like, to see uh, what Joey said, what Johnny said. I, I love to watch my match every single one. Uh, so, um, uh, or PJ, or, uh, I love to, their comments are really, really different. So uh, he said only one word, like it's enjoy. I want him to enjoy his squash. So I take this word, uh, like uh, he said, like if he's 19 years old, he's not enjoying his squash. So what happened if he, if he like 25 or 26 or something like that. So I translated to into this side. So um, I took this one and focus on this one for the match of Paul Cole and to enjoy it. Yeah, if I, not, if I didn't enjoy it now, like, okay, I'm, I'm winning. Uh, I take the win against Paul in, in pyramids. But still also, he could beat me many, many, many times. He's also world number four and the finest in Qatar and the second in the world championship. So a lot of things he could beat you also on paper. So uh, you, uh, you won once, no, you need to prove that you win it again and again and again. So um, enjoy the squash. This is the, the key. I'm happy really for squash to be more active and more uh, people like, uh, okay, uh, this is bad, uh, this is uh, good, this is uh, for the sport and like that. I'm so happy that the squash uh, grew up and uh, and there is a voice of, of squash uh, like uh, firing up. So, uh, but uh, inside the court, the emotions after I won, after that, it's for me, uh, yeah, like I'm, uh, I'm totally, so that I deserve this and after a long match like this and after a, a huge match like this, uh, I shall do whatever I want. <laughs>